Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about anything crochet, yarn related, and sometimes knit. So today we're going to be doing talking about some crochet. So I'm going to show you how to crochet this throw. It's very, very easy, and it's really, really warm. It's so, so pretty. I like it. So you can see my picture. My cat already claimed it. But this one is actually done in Christmas colors, but you do not have to do in a Christmas colors, you can use any color of yarn that you want. But isn't it pretty? So it's all one stitch and it's just a one row repeat. This is the bean stitch. So if you're not familiar with that, um, I'll show you how to do it. It's a very easy stitch. It's a bit of a yarn eater, but trust me, it is well worth it. Now I don't have a lot of room here to show you, but this is a self striping yarn. It was not color controlled at all. So the stripes went wherever they went. It worked out nice. Now there is no border on this. You can put a border on it if you want. I would probably suggest just a regular single crochet border all the way around it. That would probably be what I would do if I was going to border it in maybe a, you know, like a off white or a tan, or you could use the same color yarn or whatever you're using. This would look great. This is a great, the bean stitch is a great stitch for variegated yarns, uh, striped yarns, solid yarns, ombre yarns, any yarn, um, type that you have this stitch works well with it and it doesn't make it look overly busy you can still see the stitch and it looks awesome so let's go ahead and get started on this all right the yarn used for this particular project was Hirschner's brand uh, worsted stripes yarn so it's their uh, branded yarn that they have now this is the big 12 ounce ball so it's 100% acrylic there are 679 meters or 743 yards per ball. Now remember, it is a medium weight number four. You don't have to use this yarn. Any medium weight number four will work. Um, so this blanket required five balls. So it was about 3,700 yards of a medium weight number four. And there was not very much left. So if you crochet maybe a little bit tighter um, you might think about getting an extra ball because, um, you know, it just depends on how you crochet. You could crochet looser or tighter than me, which might make you use just a little bit or less yarn than me. But just to be careful, I mean, there was just a little tiny bit of yarn left out of five complete balls. That's 3,700 yards. Um, and the collar name is called a Very Merry, but of course you can use any collar, like I said, in any type of yarn. This stitch is great for variegated yarns as well. I know some stitches just don't work with those, but this one will. And I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. So this is made with a bean stitch, as I mentioned. It's a very nice solid stitch, beautiful stitch, beautiful, beautiful stitch. Keep it nice and warm. All right, so the blanket that I showed measures approximately 56 inches wide and about 62 inches tall. So it's a nice throw size blanket. Um, if you want to make yours smaller or bigger, the chain multiple is just an odd number. All right, any odd number will work. But if you want to make it the size that I did, um, chain 171 stitches 171 all right all right so we're going to go ahead and begin and we're going to work our first bean stitch and we're going to work it in the third stitch from our hook so we don't count the one that's on our hook here's one two here's the third stitch and we're going to go into it without yarning over so just go straight into it and draw up a loop You'll have two loops on your hook. Now we're going to yarn over this time, go back into the same stitch, and draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, and then one more time we're going to yarn over and go into the same stitch and draw up a loop, and you will have six loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and go through all six loops like that. I kind of give it a little tug to tighten it up. And then we're going to chain a one to lock it together. 
and then we are going to skip one stitch so we skip this one and we're going to work a bean stitch into the next so it's very important that you remember the first time that we go in we do not yarn over so go in to skip one go into the next and then drop a loop now we yarn over go into the same spot drop a loop got four loops there one more time yarn over go into the same spot drop a loop six loops on your hook yarn over go through all six chain one and this is what we're going to repeat all the way down so again we're going to skip one and then the next we're going to work another bean stitch remember don't yarn over that first time so skip and then the next one go into the loop draw up and then we're going to yarn over go in draw up one more time yarn over go into the same stitch draw up six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six and chain one again skip one go directly into the next stitch drop a loop then we yarn over go into the same stitch drop a loop one more time yarn over go into the same stitch drop a loop oops six loops that remain yarn over go through all six and chain one and i'm going to repeat this till i get near the end of the row skip one and bean stitch into the next so don't yarn over go in drop a loop yarn over go into the same stitch drop a loop yarn over one more time go into the same stitch drop a loop six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six and chain one so i'm going to repeat this pattern and i'll meet back up with you at the end of the row all right i've made it to the end of the row and you should be able to have uh, skip one and your last stitch should be a bean stitch so i went ahead and did a bean stitch there into the last and what we're going to do is yarn over and go through all six loops like that and then we are going to chain one and turn our work and now we're going to start row two now row two is the repeat row for the whole pattern all right so we are going to start off with a chain of one and we are going to be working a bean stitch now if you pull these stitches to the bean stitch to the side you'll see this little v right here that's what we're going to be working our v, our bean stitches in so you kind of got to pull it apart to see it but if you hold it right so it kind of looks like a v see that so go remember it's very important the very important part is remember to never yarn over the first time you go in to do a bean stitch go in there go into that spot and draw up a loop and then yarn over go into the same spot draw up a loop and yarn over again go into the same spot drop a loop six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six chain one and then we're going to jump, jump over here in between the next two beans if you pull them apart there it is you see that that's where we're going to put our next bean stitch so go directly into it and drop a loop yarn over go into the same spot drop a loop yarn over again Go into that same spot draw up a loop six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six chain one again here's your next two bean stitches pull them apart and there you see this little spot here on the side of the bean stitch that's where we work in so go right through it draw up a loop and then we yarn over and go through it draw up a loop yarn over one more time go into that same spot draw up a loop six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six chain one and this is what we're going to repeat all the way across again here's your next two beans pull them apart and you see that little v that's where we work so go right into it drop a loop and then we yarn over and go into it drop a loop again yarn over go into the same spot drop a loop six loops yarn over and go through all six chain one and as you can see the b stitches start to get like uh catty cornered 
they kind of go make like all the way back and forth gives it a nice texture a nice look again here's your next two v or next two beans pull them apart and you can see right where you need to put your next bean stitch so go right into it drop a loop then we yarn over go into it again draw up a loop yarn over one more time go into the same spot draw up a loop yarn over and go through all six and chain one so i'm going to repeat this pattern until i get to the end of the row all right i'm coming to the end here i just did a bean stitch here in between these two i chained one and now i'm going to put a bean stitch in this space here on the end where we have those chains go right into that spot and work a bean stitch like that chain one and turn and we're going to chain one again and we're going to repeat so our first bean stitch goes right there in drop a loop yarn over in drop a loop yarn over in drop a loop six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six and chain one and we're going to repeat what we just did on the previous row remember if you just go to your next two bean stitches and pull them apart you'll see that little spot where your next bean stitch needs to go this is such a beautiful stitch i just like it because it works with every type of yarn it's there's not a lot of stitches that will work with you know every type of yarn being a variegated or striped or solid or ombre you know sometimes it, some stitches just won't work but this is one that will they're a rarity nowadays <laughs> no there are a few but this is a very nice one If you look here you can see how the bean stitches are going catty cornered again see that isn't that cool so i'm gonna go ahead and repeat this till i get to the end of the row and again when you make it to the end you you always put a bean stitch here in this last spot this last little chain two area that we do chain one i call it a chain two chain two area because we chain one here and then we turn and then we chain one again so that's two chains there so that's what's always at the end there that you work your bean stitch in and i'm just going to keep repeating this you just keep repeating it you repeat it until you get it as tall as you want it to be it's your blanket you make it as tall as you want like i said the one that you've seen in the picture is about 62 inches tall but you can do yours to whatever length you desire, whatever height you desire. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. Hope you were able to follow along. I'm super excited to see everybody's blanket beans. You know, like I said, this, this is one of my favorite types of puff stitches. And I cannot wait to see what yarn you used with it because whatever yarn you use is going to look magnificent. So make sure you show me a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. Even if you don't make a, a throw, if you make a scarf with this stitch or something, come show me a picture of it. I'd really like to see it. I love to see this stitch and done in different types of yarns. It's interesting to me. Um, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already give this video a like and a comment below that always helps me out and if you look in the description box you'll see a playlist of, of over a thousand crochet tutorials i have anything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them i will also put a playlist to my other blankets in case you're in a blanket making mood you can go through those and uh, check them out maybe you'll find another one there that you like and want to make and until next time have a good day everybody bye guys